The recorded history of the Crimean Peninsula, historically known as Tauris, Tauritsa, and the Tauric Chersonese, begins around the 5th century BC when several Greek colonies were established along its coast. The southern coast remained Greek in culture for almost 2,000 years as part of the Roman Empire, and its successor states, the Byzantine Empire, the Empire of Trebizond, and the independent Principality of Theodoro. In the 13th century, some port cities were controlled by the Venetians and by the Genovese. The Crimean interior was much less stable, enduring a long series of conquests and invasions. By the early medieval period it had been settled by Scythians, Tauri, Greeks, Romans, Goths, Huns, Bulgars, Kipchaks and Khazars. In the medieval period, it was acquired partly by Kievan Rus, but fell to the Mongol invasions as part of the Golden Horde. They were followed by the Crimean Khanate and the Ottoman Empire, which conquered the coastal areas as well, in the 15th to 18th centuries. In 1774, the Ottoman Empire was defeated by Catherine the Great. Crimea was traded to Russia by the Ottoman Empire as part of the treaty provisions and annexed in 1783. After two centuries of conflict, the Russian fleet had destroyed the Ottoman navy and the Russian army had inflicted heavy defeats on the Ottoman land forces. The ensuing Treaty of Kuchik Kynarka forced the Sublime Port to recognize the Tatars of the Crimea as politically independent. Catherine the Great's incorporation of the Crimea in 1783 from the defeated Ottoman Empire into the Russian Empire increased Russia's power in the Black Sea area. The Crimea was the first Muslim territory to slip from the Sultan's suzerainty. The Ottoman Empire's frontiers would gradually shrink, and Russia would proceed to push her frontier westwards to the Dniester. In 1921 the Crimean Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic was created. This republic was dissolved in 1945, and the Crimea became an oblast first of the Russian SSR and then the Ukrainian SSR. From 1991 the territory was covered by the Autonomous Republic of Crimea and Sevastopol City with an independent Ukraine. However, during the 2014 Crimean Crisis, the peninsula was taken over by Russia and a referendum on whether to rejoin Russia was held. Shortly after the result in favor of joining Russia was announced, Crimea was annexed by the Russian Federation as two federal subjects, the Republic of Crimea and the federal city of Sevastopol. Prehistory archaeological evidence of human settlement in Crimea dates back to the Middle Paleolithic. Neanderthal remains found at Kik Koba Cave have been dated to about 80,000 BP. Late Neanderthal occupations have also been found at Starosel and Buran Kaya III. Archaeologists have found some of the earliest anatomically modern human remains in Europe in the Buran Kaya Caves in the Crimean Mountains. The fossils are about 32,000 years old, with the artifacts linked to the Gravettian culture. During the last glacial maximum, along with the northern coast of the Black Sea in general, Crimea was an important refuge from which north central Europe was re populated after the end of the Ice Age. The East European plain during this time was generally occupied by paraglacial lowest steppe environments, although the climate was slightly warmer during several brief interstadials and began to warm significantly after the beginning of the late glacial maximum. Human site occupation density was relatively high in the Crimean region and increased as early as c. 16,000 years before the present. Proponents of the Black Sea Deluge hypothesis believe Crimea did not become a peninsula until relatively recently, with the rising of the Black Sea level in the 6th millennium BC. The beginning of the Neolithic in Crimea is not associated with agriculture, but instead with the beginning of pottery production, changes in flint tool-making technologies, and local domestication of pigs. The earliest evidence of domesticated wheat in the Crimean Peninsula is from the Chalcolithic Ardich Buran site. Dating to the middle of the 4th millennium BC by the 3rd millennium BC, Crimea had been reached by the Yamna or pit grave culture, assumed to correspond to a late phase of Proto Indo European culture in the Kurgan hypothesis. Antiquity Tauri and Scythians in the early Iron Age, Crimea was settled by two groups the Tauri in southern Crimea, and the East Iranian speaking Scythians north of the Crimean Mountains. Taurians intermixed with the Scythians starting from the end of 3rd century BC were mentioned as Taurosithians and Scythotorians in the works of ancient Greek writers. The origins of the Tauri, from which the classical name of Crimea as Tauritsa arose, are the people that formed the origin of the Turkish people. In Geographica, Strabo refers to the Tauri as a Scythian tribe. 
However, Herodotus states that the Tauri tribes were geographically inhabited by the Scythians, but they are not Scythians. Pritzak O. and Galb. N. mention that the Tauri tribes are a people of Turkish origins. Also, the Taurians inspired the Greek myths of Iphigenia and Orestes. The Greeks, who eventually established colonies in Crimea during the Archaic period, regarded the Tauri as a savage, warlike people. Even after centuries of Greek and Roman settlement, the Tauri were not pacified and continued to engage in piracy on the Black Sea. By the 2nd century BC they had become subject allies of the Scythian king Silurus. The Crimean Peninsula north of the Crimean Mountains was occupied by Scythian tribes. Their centre was the city of Scythian Neapolis on the outskirts of present-day Simferopol. The town ruled over a small kingdom covering the lands between the lower Dnieper River and northern Crimea. In the 3rd and 2nd centuries BC, Scythian Neapolis was a city, with a mixed Scythian Greek population, strong defensive walls and large public buildings constructed using the orders of Greek architecture. The city was eventually destroyed in the mid-3rd century AD by the Goths. Greek settlement The ancient Greeks were the first to name the region Tauritsa after the Tauri. As the Tauri inhabited only mountainous regions of southern Crimea, at first the name Tauritsa was used only to this southern part, but later it was extended to name the whole peninsula. Greek city-states began establishing colonies along the Black Sea coast of Crimea in the 7th or 6th century BC. Theodosia and Panticopium were established by Milesians. In the 5th century BC, Dorians from Heraclea Pontica founded the seaport of Chersonesos. In 438 BC, the Archon of Panticopium assumed the title of the king of Cimmerian Bosporus, a state that maintained close relations with Athens, supplying the city with wheat, honey and other commodities. The last of that line of kings, Parasades v, being hard-pressed by the Scythians, put himself under the protection of Mithridates VI, the king of Pontus, in 114 BC. After the death of this sovereign, his son, Pharnaces II, was invested by Pompey with the kingdom of the Cimmerian Bosporus in 63 BC as a reward for the assistance rendered to the Romans in their war against his father. In 15 BC, it was once again restored to the king of Pontus, but from then ranked as a tributary state of Rome. Roman Empire in the 2nd century BC, the eastern part of Tauritsa became part of the Bosporan Kingdom, before being incorporated into the Roman Empire in the 1st century BC. During the AD 1st, 2nd and 3rd centuries, Tauritsa was host to Roman legions and colonists in Carix, Crimea. The Carix colony was founded under Vespasian with the intention of protecting Chersonesos and other Bosporian trade emporiums from the Scythians. The Roman colony was protected by a vexillatio of the Legio I Italica. It also hosted a detachment of the Legio XI Claudia at the end of the 2nd century. The camp was abandoned by the Romans in the mid-3rd century. This de facto province would have been controlled by the legatus of one of the legions stationed in Carix. Throughout the later centuries, Crimea was invaded or occupied successively by the Goths, the Huns, the Bulgars, the Khazars. Crimean Gothic, an East Germanic language, was spoken by the Crimean Goths in some isolated locations in Crimea until the late 18th century. Middle Ages Rus and Byzantium In the mid-10th century, the eastern area of Crimea was conquered by Prince Fyatislav I of Kiev and became part of the Kievan Rus Principality of Timotarikin. In 988, Prince Vladimir I of Kiev also captured the Byzantine town of Chersonesos where he later converted to Christianity. An impressive Russian Orthodox cathedral marks the location of this historic event. At the same time, the southern fringe of the peninsula was controlled by the Byzantine Empire as the Cherson theme. Mongol invasion and later medieval period Kiev lost its hold on the Crimean interior in the early 13th century due to the Mongol invasions. In the summer of 1238 Batu Khan devastated the Crimean peninsula and pacified Mordovia, reaching Kiev by 1240. The Crimean interior came under the control of the Turco-Mongol Golden Horde from 1239 to 1441. The name Crimea originates as the name of the provincial capital of the Golden Horde, the city now known as Staryi Krim. The Byzantines and their successor states and the Principality of Theodoro, continued to maintain control over parts of southern Crimea until the Ottoman conquest in 1475. In the 13th century the Republic of Genoa seized the settlements which their rivals, the Venetians, 
had built along the Crimean coast and established themselves at Sembalo, Soldaya, Cherko and Kaffa, gaining control of the Crimean economy and the Black Sea commerce for two centuries. In 1346 the Golden Horde army besieging Genoese Kaffa catapulted the bodies of Mongol warriors who had died of plague over the walls of the city. Historians have speculated that Genoese refugees from this engagement may have brought the Black Death to Western Europe. Crimean Khanate after Timur destroyed a Mongol Golden Horde army in 1399. The Crimean Tatars founded an independent Crimean Khanate under Hujja i Guri in 1441. Hujja i Guri and his successors reigned first at Kirkyu Ur, then, from the beginning of the 15th century, at Bakshisaray. The Crimean Tatars controlled the steppes that stretched from the Kuban to the Dniester River, however, they were unable to take control of the commercial Genoese towns in the Crimea. After the Crimean Tatars asked for help from the Ottomans, an Ottoman invasion of the Genoese towns led by Gedik Ahmed Pasha in 1475 brought Kaffa and the other trading towns under their control. 78 After the capture of the Genoese towns, the Ottoman Sultan held Khan Menli i Guri captive, later releasing him in return for accepting Ottoman suzerainty over the Crimean Khans and allowing them rule as tributary princes of the Ottoman Empire. 78 However, the Crimean Khans still had a large amount of autonomy from the Ottoman Empire, and followed the rules they thought best for them. Crimean Tatars introduced the practice of raids into Ukrainian lands, in which they captured slaves for on sale. 78 For example, from 1450 to 1586, 86 Tatar raids were recorded, and from 1600 to 1647, 70. 106 In the 1570s close to 20,000 slaves a year went on sale in Kaffa. Slaves and freedmen formed approximately 75% of the Crimean population. In 1769 a last major Tatar raid, which took place during the Russo-Turkish War of 1768–1774, saw the capture of 20,000 slaves. Tatar society The Crimean Tatars as an ethnic group dominated the Crimean Khanate from the 15th to the 18th centuries. They descend from a complicated mixture of Turkic peoples who settled in the Crimea from the 8th century, presumably also absorbing remnants of the Crimean Goths and the Genoese. Linguistically, the Crimean Tatars are related to the Khazars, who invaded the Crimea in the mid-8th century. The Crimean Tatar language forms part of the Kipchak or northwestern branch of the Turkic languages, although it shows substantial Oghuz influence due to historical Ottoman Turkish presence in the Crimea. A small enclave of Crimean Karet, a people of Jewish descent practicing Karaism who later adopted a Turkic language, formed in the 13th century. It existed among the Muslim Crimean Tatars, primarily in the mountainous Kufuk Kale area. Cossack incursions in 1553–1554 Cossack hetman Dmitro Vaishnovetsky gathered together groups of Cossacks and constructed a fort designed to obstruct Tatar raids into Ukraine. With this action, he founded the Zaporozhian Sich, with which he would launch a series of attacks on the Crimean Peninsula and the Ottoman Turks. 109 In 1774 the Crimean Khans fell under Russian influence with the Treaty of Kuchik Kynarka. 176 In 1778 the Russian government deported numerous Greek Orthodox residents from Crimea to the vicinity of Mariupol. In 1783 the Russian Empire annexed all of the Crimea. 176 Russian Empire The Torida Oblast was created by a decree of Catherine the Great on 2 February 1784. The center of the oblast was first in Karasubazar but was moved to Simferopol later in 1784. The establishment decree divided the oblast into seven uyates. However, by a decree of Paul I on 12 December 1796, the oblast was abolished and the territory, divided into two uyates was attached to the second incarnation of the Novorossiysk Governorate. After 1799, the territory was divided into uyates. At that time, there were 1,400 inhabited villages and seven towns, Simferopol, Sevastopol, Yalta, Yevpatoria, Alushta, Feodosia, and Kerch. In 1802, in the course of Paul I's administrative reform of areas that were annexed from the Crimean Khanate, the Novorossiysk Governorate was again abolished and subdivided. Crimea was attached to a new Torida Governorate established with its center at Simferopol. The Governorate included both the 25,133 square kilometers Crimea as well as 38,405 square kilometers of adjacent areas of the mainland. 
In 1826 Adam Mickiewicz published his seminal work The Crimean Sonnets after traveling through the Black Sea coast. By the late 19th century, Crimean Tatars continued to form a slight plurality of Crimea's still largely rural population but there were large numbers of Russians and Ukrainians as well as smaller numbers of Germans, Jews, Bulgarians, Belarusians, Turks, Armenians, and Greeks and Gypsies. The Tatars were the predominant portion of the population in the mountainous area and about half of the steppe population. Russians were concentrated most heavily in Feodosia district. Germans and Bulgarians settled in the Crimea at the beginning of the 19th century, receiving a large allotment and fertile land and later wealthy colonists began to buy land, mainly in Perikopsky and Evpatoria Uyeds. Crimean War The Crimean War, a conflict fought between the Russian Empire and an alliance of the French Empire, the British Empire, the Ottoman Empire, the Kingdom of Sardinia, and the Duchy of Nassau was part of a long-running contest between the major European powers for influence over territories of the declining Ottoman Empire. Russia and the Ottoman Empire went to war in October 1853 over Russia's rights to protect Orthodox Christians. To stop Russia's conquests France and Britain entered in March 1854. While some of the war was fought elsewhere, the principal engagements were in Crimea. Following action in the Danubian principalities and in the Black Sea, Allied troops landed in Crimea in September 1854 and besieged the city of Sevastopol, home of the Tsar's Black Sea Fleet and the associated threat of potential Russian penetration into the Mediterranean. After extensive fighting throughout Crimea, the city fell on 9 September 1855. The war devastated much of the economic and social infrastructure of Crimea. The Crimean Tatars had to flee from their homeland en masse, forced by the conditions created by the war persecution and land expropriations. Those who survived the trip, famine and disease, resettled in Dobruja, Anatolia, and other parts of the Ottoman Empire. Finally, the Russian government decided to stop the process, as the agriculture began to suffer due to the unattended fertile farmland. Potemkin sunk a submarine in 1909. The Russian battleship Potemkin accidentally sank a Russian submarine. Russian Civil War Following the Russian Revolution of 1917, the military and political situation in Crimea was chaotic like that in much of Russia. During the ensuing Russian Civil War, Crimea changed hands numerous times and was for a time a stronghold of the anti-Bolshevik White Army. It was in Crimea that the White Russians led by General Wrangel made their last stand against Nestor Makhno and the Red Army in 1920. When resistance was crushed, many of the anti-Bolshevik fighters and civilians escaped by ship to Istanbul. Approximately 50,000 white prisoners of war and civilians were summarily executed by shooting or hanging after the defeat of General Wrangel at the end of 1920. This is considered one of the largest massacres in the Civil War. Crimea changed hands several times over the course of the conflict and several political entities were set up on the peninsula. These included, Crimean People's Republic, December 1917 to January 1918. Crimean Tatar Government Torida Soviet Socialist Republic, the 19th of March 1918 to the 30th of April 1918. Bolshevik Government Ukrainian People's Republic, May 1918 to June 1918. First Crimean Regional Government, the 25th of June 1918 to the 25th of November 1918. German puppet state under Lipka Tatar General Masiej Sulkovich Second Crimean Regional Government, November 1918 to April 1919. Anti-Bolshevik government under Crimean Karaite former cadet member Solomon Krim Crimean Socialist Soviet Republic, the 2nd of April 1919 to June 1919. Bolshevik government South Russian government, February 1920 to April 1920. Government of White Movements General Anton Denikin government of South Russia. April 1920 to the 16th of November 1920 Government of White Movements General Pyotr Wrangel Bolshevik Revolutionary Committee Government November 1920 to the 18th of October 1921 Bolshevik Government under Bela Kun then Mikhail Polyakov Crimean Autonomous Socialist Soviet Republic the 18th of October 1921 to the 30th of June 1945 Autonomous Republic of the RSFSR in the Soviet Union Soviet Union Interbellum on 18 October 1921. The Crimean Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic was created as part of the Russian SFSR which, in turn, became part of the new Soviet Union. 
However, this did not protect the Crimean Tatars, who constituted about 25% of the Crimean population, from Joseph Stalin's repressions of the 1930s. The Greeks were another cultural group that suffered. Their lands were lost during the process of collectivization, in which farmers were not compensated with wages. Schools which taught Greek were closed and Greek literature was destroyed, because the Soviets considered the Greeks as «counter-revolutionary», with their links to capitalist state Greece, and their independent culture. From 1923 until 1944 there was an effort to create Jewish settlements in Crimea. At one time, Vyacheslav Molotov suggested the idea of establishing a Jewish homeland. Crimea experienced two severe famines in the 20th century, the famine of 1921–1922 and the Holodomor of 1932–1933. A large Slavic population influx occurred in the 1930s as a result of the Soviet policy of regional development. These demographic changes permanently altered the ethnic balance in the region. World War II During World War II, Crimea was a scene of some of the bloodiest battles. The leaders of the Third Reich were anxious to conquer and colonize the fertile and beautiful peninsula as part of their policy of resettling the Germans in Eastern Europe at the expense of the Slavs. The Germans suffered heavy casualties in the summer of 1941 as they tried to advance through the narrow isthmus of Perikop linking Crimea to the Soviet mainland. Once the German army broke through, they occupied most of Crimea, with the exception of the city of Sevastopol, which was later awarded the honorary title of Hero City after the war. The Red Army lost over 170,000 men killed or taken prisoner, and three armies with 21 divisions. Sevastopol held out from October 1941 until 4 July 1942 when the Germans finally captured the city. From 1 September 1942, the peninsula was administered as the General Bezirk Krim und Tebezirk Torian by the Nazi General Commissar Alfred Eduard Frauenfeld, under the authority of the three consecutive Reichskommissar for the entire Ukraine. In spite of heavy handed tactics by the Nazis and the assistance of the Romanian and Italian troops, the Crimean Mountains remained an unconquered stronghold of the native resistance until the day when the peninsula was freed from the occupying force. The Crimean Jews were targeted for annihilation during Nazi occupation. According to Yitzhak Arad, in January 1942 a company of Tatar volunteers was established in Simferopol under the command of Einsatzgruppe 11. This company participated in anti-Jewish manhunts and murder actions in the rural regions. In 1944, Sevastopol came under the control of troops from the Soviet Union. The so-called, City of Russian Glory, once known for its beautiful architecture was entirely destroyed and had to be rebuilt stone by stone. Due to its enormous historical and symbolic meaning for the Russians, it became a priority for Stalin and the Soviet government to have it restored to its former glory within the shortest time possible. Deportation of Crimean Tatars on 18 May 1944 the entire population of the Crimean Tatars were forcibly deported in the Sergun to Central Asia by Joseph Stalin's Soviet government as a form of collective punishment on the grounds that they allegedly had collaborated with the Nazi occupation forces and formed pro-German Tatar legions. 483 on the 26th of June of the same year Armenian, Bulgarian and Greek population was also deported to Central Asia and partially to Ufa and its surroundings in the Ural Mountains. By the end of summer 1944, the ethnic cleansing of Crimea was complete. In 1967, the Crimean Tatars were rehabilitated, but they were banned from legally returning to their homeland until the last days of the Soviet Union. The Crimean Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic was abolished on 30 June 1945 and transformed into the Crimean Oblast of the Russian SFSR. 1954 Transfer to Ukraine in 1954 the Crimean Oblast was incorporated into the Ukrainian SSR following administrative action of the Presidium of the Supreme Soviet of the Soviet Union. This Supreme Soviet decree states that this transfer was motivated by, the commonality of the economy, the proximity, and close economic and cultural relations between the Crimean region and the Ukrainian SSR. In post-war years, Crimea thrived as a tourist destination, with new attractions and sanatoriums for tourists. Tourists came from all around the Soviet Union and neighboring countries, particularly from the German Democratic Republic. In time the peninsula also became a major tourist destination for cruises originating in Greece and Turkey. Crimea's infrastructure and manufacturing also developed, 
particularly around the seaports at Kerch and Sevastopol and in the oblast's landlocked capital, Simferopol. Populations of Ukrainians and Russians alike doubled, with more than 1.6 million Russians and 626,000 Ukrainians living on the peninsula by 1989. The North Crimean Canal is a land improvement canal for irrigation and watering of Kherson Oblast in southern Ukraine, and the Crimean Peninsula. The canal also has multiple branches throughout Kherson Oblast and the Crimean Peninsula. The construction preparation started in 1957 soon after the transfer of Crimea of 1954. The main project works took place between 1961 and 1971 and had three stages. The construction was conducted by the Komisomol members sent by the Komsomol travel ticket as part of shock construction projects and accounted for some 10,000 volunteer workers. Ukraine with the collapse of the Soviet Union. Crimea became part of the newly independent Ukraine and its status was upgraded to autonomous republic. Independence was supported by a referendum in all regions of Ukrainian SSR, including Crimea. 54% of the Crimean voters supported independence with a 60% turnout. The percentage of the total Crimean electorate that had voted for Ukrainian independence in the referendum was 37%. In 1994, the legal status of Crimea as part of Ukraine was backed up by Russia, who pledged to uphold the territorial integrity of Ukraine in a memorandum signed in 1994, also signed by the US and UK. This new situation led to tensions between Russia and Ukraine. With the Black Sea Fleet based on the peninsula, worries of armed skirmishes were occasionally raised. In August 1991, Yuri Mishkov established the Republican Movement of Crimea which was registered on 19 November. On 2 September 1991, the National Movement of Crimean Tatars appealed to the V Extraordinary Congress of People's Deputies in Russia demanding the program how to return the deported Tatar population back to Crimea. Based on the resolution of the Verkhovna Rada on 26 February 1992, the Crimean ASSR was renamed the Republic of Crimea. The Crimean Parliament proclaimed self-government on 5 May 1992. And passed the first Crimean constitution the same day. On 6 May 1992 the same parliament inserted a new sentence into this constitution that declared that Crimea was part of Ukraine. On 19 May, Crimea agreed to remain as part of Ukraine and annulled their proclamation of self-government. By 30 June, Crimean communists forced the Kiev government to expand on the already extensive autonomous status of Crimea. 587 in the same period, Russian President Boris Yeltsin and Ukraine's Leonid Kravchuk agreed to divide the former Soviet Black Sea Fleet between newly formed Russian and Ukrainian navies. On 24 October, Mishkov re-registered his movement as the Republican Party of Crimea, Party of the Republican Movement of Crimea. On the 11th of December 1992, the President of Ukraine called the attempt of, the Russian deputies to charge the Russian parliament with a task to define the status of Sevastopol as an imperial disease. On 17 December 1992, the office of the Ukrainian presidential representative in Crimea was created, which caused wave of protests a month later. Among the protesters that created the unsanctioned rally were the Sevastopol branches of the National Salvation Front, the Russian Popular Assembly, and the All Crimean Movement of the Voters for the Republic of Crimea. The protest was held in Sevastopol on 10 January at Nakamov Square. On 15 January 1993, Kravchuk and Yeltsin in the meeting in Moscow appointed Eduard Balton as the commander of the Black Sea Fleet. At the same time the Union of the Ukrainian Naval Officers protested the Russian intervention into the Ukrainian internal affairs. Soon after that there were more anti-Ukrainian protests led by the Mishkov's party, the voters for the Crimean Republic, Yetistvo, and the Union of Communists that demanded to turn Sevastopol under the Russian jurisdiction and followed by the interview given by the Sevastopol's communist, Vasil Parkhomenko, who said that the city's communists' request to recognize the Russian as the state language and restoration of the Soviet Union. On 19 March 1993, the Crimean deputy and the member of the National Salvation Front, Alexander Kruglov, threatened the members of the Crimean Ukrainian Congress not allow into the building of the Republican Council. A couple of days after that, Russia established an information center in Sevastopol. In April 1993, 
The Ukrainian Ministry of Defense submitted an appeal to Verkhovna Rada to suspend the Yalta Agreement of 1992 that divided the Black Sea Fleet that was followed by the request from the Ukrainian Republican Party to recognize the fleet either fully Ukrainian or a fleet of a foreign country in Ukraine. Also over 300 Russian legislators called the planned Congress of Ukrainian Residents a political provocation. On 14 April 1993, the Presidium of the Crimean Parliament called for the creation of the presidential post of the Crimean Republic. A week later the Russian deputy, Valentin Agafonov, stated that Russia is ready to supervise the referendum on Crimean independence and include the Republic as a separate entity in the CIS. On 28 July 1993, one of the leaders of the Russian Society of Crimea, Viktor Prusikov, stated that his organization is ready for an armed mutiny and establishment of the Russian administration in Sevastopol. In September, Eduard Balton accused Ukraine of converting some of his fleet and conducting an armed assault on his personnel, and threatened to take countermeasures of placing the fleet on alert. On 14 October 1993, the Crimean parliament established the post of President of Crimea and agreed on the quota of the Crimean Tatars representation in the Council to 14. The head of the Russian People's Council in Sevastopol, Alexander Kruglov, called it excessive. The chairman of the Tatar Melis, Mustafa Abduljamil Kirimolu, used words, categorically against, in regards to the proposed election for Crimean president on 16 January. He stated that there cannot be two presidents in a single state. On 6 November, the Crimean Tatar leader, Yuri Osmanov was murdered. A series of terrorist actions rocked the peninsula in the winter. Among them were the arson of the Melis apartment, the shooting of a Ukrainian official, several hooligan attacks on Mashkov, the bomb explosion in the house of a local parliamentary, the assassination attempt on a communist presidential candidate, and others. On 2 January 1994, the Melis announced a boycott of the presidential elections, which were later cancelled. The boycott itself was later taken on by other Crimean Tatar organizations. On the 11th of January, the Melis announced their representative, Mikola Barov, the Speaker of the Crimean Parliament, as the presidential candidate. On 12 January, some other candidates accused Barov of severe methods of agitation. At the same time, Vladimir Zhirinovsky called on the people of Crimea to vote for the Russian Sergei Shevainikov. On 30 January 1994, the pro-Russian Yuri Mishkov was elected to the new post but quickly ran into conflicts with Parliament. On 8 September, the Crimean Parliament degraded the President's powers from the head of state to the head of the executive power only, to which Mishkov responded by disbanding Parliament and announcing his control over Crimea four days later. On 17 March 1995, the Parliament of Ukraine intervened, scrapping the Crimean constitution and removing Mishkov along with his office for his actions against the state and promoting integration with Russia. Mishkov was removed from power after Ukrainian special forces had entered his residence, disarmed his bodyguards and put him on a plane to Moscow. After an interim constitution lasting from 4 April 1996 to 23 December 1998, the current constitution was put into effect changing the territory's name to the Autonomous Republic of Crimea. Following the ratification of the May 1997 Treaty of Friendship, Cooperation, and Partnership on Friendship and Division of the Black Sea Fleet, international tensions slowly eased off. With the treaty, Moscow recognized Ukraine's borders and territorial integrity, and accepted Ukraine's sovereignty over Crimea and Sevastopol. 600 in a separate agreement. Russia was to receive 80% of the Black Sea Fleet in use of the military facilities in Sevastopol on a 20-year lease. 600 however, other controversies between Ukraine and Russia still remain, including the ownership of a lighthouse on Cape Sarich. Because the Russian Navy controlled 77 geographical objects on the South Crimean shore, the Sevastopol government court ordered the vacating of the objects, which the Russian military did not carry out. Since August 3, 2005, the lighthouse has been controlled by the Russian army. Through the years, there have been various attempts to return Cape Sarich to Ukrainian territory, all of which were unsuccessful. In 2006, protests broke out on the peninsula after U.S. Marines arrived at the Crimean city of Feodosia to take part in the Sea Breeze 2006 Ukraine-NATO military exercise. Protesters greeted the Marines with barricades and slogans bearing, Occupiers go home. 
and a couple of days later, the Crimean parliament declared Crimea a NATO free territory. After several days of protest, the U.S. Marines withdrew from the peninsula. In September 2008, the Ukrainian Foreign Minister Volodymyr Orozko accused Russia of giving out Russian passports to the population in the Crimea and described it as a real problem given Russia's declared policy of military intervention abroad to protect Russian citizens. During a press conference in Moscow on 16 February 2009, the mayor of Sevastopol Serhii Kunitsyn claimed that the population of Crimea is opposed to the idea of becoming a part of Russia. Although Western newspapers like the Wall Street Journal have speculated about a Russian coup in Sevastopol or another Crimean city in connection with the Russian-Georgian War and the recognition of Abkhazia and South Ossetia by Russia. Valentin Nalavachenko, acting head of the Security Service of Ukraine, stated on 17 February 2009, that he is confident that any, Ossetian scenario is impossible in Crimea. The SBU had started criminal proceedings against the pro-Russian association, People's Front Sevastopol Crimea Russia, in January 2009. On the 55th anniversary of the transfer of the Crimea from the Russian SFSR to the Ukrainian SSR some 300 to 500 people took part in rallies to protest against the transfer. On 24 August 2009, anti-Ukrainian demonstrations were held in Crimea by ethnic Russian residents. Sergei Sekov said then that he hoped that Russia would treat the Crimea the same way as it had treated South Ossetia and Abkhazia. Chaos in the Verkhovna Rada during a debate over the extension of the lease on a Russian naval base erupted on 27 April 2010 after Ukraine's parliament ratified the treaty that extends Russia's lease on a military wharf and shore installations in the Crimean port Sevastopol until 2042. The chairman of the Verkhovna Rada Volodymyr Litovin had to be shielded by umbrellas as he was pelted with eggs, while smoke bombs exploded and politicians brawled. Along with the Verkhovna Rada the treaty was ratified by the Russian state Duma as well. Before 2014, Crimea can be considered a part of the political base of then-President Viktor Yanukovych. Thus, in the period just prior to 2014, Crimea was not experiencing intense mobilization against Ukraine or on behalf of absorption into Russia. Russian annexation and aftermath in the aftermath of the 2014 political crisis in Ukraine. On 23 February, Russian President Vladimir Putin tasked the security agencies with starting working on the return of Crimea. Within days, on 26 February 2014, Hundreds of pro-Russia and pro-Ukraine protesters clashed in front of the parliament building in Simferopol. The previous day, 300 to 500 pro-Russia protesters chanting, Russia, had replaced the flag of Ukraine with the flag of the Russian Federation. Leaders of Crimean Tatars organized a meeting in order to block a meeting of Crimean parliament which is, doing everything to execute plans of separation of Crimea from Ukraine. According to the Russian state media, the pretext of the clash was the purported abolition, on 23 February 2014, of a controversial law on the status of regional languages. On 27 February, Russian armed forces without insignias seized the building of the Supreme Council of Crimea and the building of the Council of Ministers in Simferopol. Whilst the «little green men» were occupying the Crimean Parliament building, the Parliament held an emergency session. It voted to terminate the Crimean government, and replace Prime Minister Anatoly Imohyliov with Sergei Aksonov. According to the Constitution of Ukraine, the Prime Minister of Crimea is appointed by the Supreme Council of Crimea in consultation with the President of Ukraine. Both Aksonov and Speaker Vladimir Konstantinov stated that they viewed Viktor Yanukovych as the de jure President of Ukraine, through whom they were able to ask Russia for assistance. The «little green men» began to surround Ukrainian bases in the peninsula and soon individuals were kidnapped. On the 11th of March, after disagreements between Crimea, Sevastopol, and the interim government in Ukraine, the Crimean parliament and the city council of Sevastopol adopted a resolution to show their intention to unilaterally declare themselves independent as a single united nation with the possibility of joining the Russian Federation as a federal subject, should voters approve to do so in an upcoming referendum. On 16 March, Crimea's government claimed that nearly 96% of those who voted in Crimea supported joining Russia. The vote received no international recognition and, aside from Russia, no country had sent official observers there.
On 17 March, the Crimean parliament officially declared its independence from Ukraine and requested to join the Russian Federation. On 18 March 2014, the self-proclaimed Independent Republic of Crimea signed a treaty of accession to the Russian Federation. The accession was granted but separately for each the former regions that composed it. One accession for the Autonomous Republic of Crimea as the Republic of Crimea. The same name as the short-lived self-proclaimed Independent Republic. And another accession for Sevastopol as a federal city. The accession was only recognized internationally by a few states with most regarding the action as illegal. Though Ukraine refused to accept the annexation, the Ukrainian military began to withdraw from Crimea on March 19. All actions of Crimean parliament were declared null and void by Ukrainian constitutional court that led to its disbandment by Ukrainian parliament. The Ukrainian parliament has stated that the referendum is unconstitutional. The United States and the European Union said they consider the vote to be illegal, and warned that there may be repercussions for the Crimean ballot. On March 21, 2014, Russia formalized the annexation of Crimea within its federal constitution. On 21 and the 22nd of March, the Venice Commission of the Council of Europe declared the referendum contradicted the principle of indivisibility of the country, as it was established in the Ukraine's constitution, and also that it hadn't been performed in line with European democratic standards. On 27 March, the UN General Assembly passed a non-binding resolution 100 in favor, 11 against and 58 abstentions in the 193-nation assembly that declared invalid Crimea's Moscow-backed referendum. Since 2014, the UN General Assembly has voted several times, most recently in December 2019, to affirm Ukraine's territorial integrity, condemn the temporary occupation of Crimea, and reaffirm non-recognition of its annexation. On 31 March 2014, the Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev announced a series of programs aimed at swiftly incorporating the territory of Crimea into Russia's economy and infrastructure. Medvedev announced the creation of a new ministry for Crimean affairs, and ordered Russia's top ministers who joined him there to make coming up with a development plan their top priority. On 3 April 2014, the Republic of Crimea and the city of Sevastopol became parts of Russia's southern military district. On the 11th of April 2014, the Republic's Parliament approved the new constitution of the Republic of Crimea which came into legal effect the following day. On 1 June 2014 Crimea officially switched over to the Russian ruble as its only form of legal tender. On May 7, 2015 Crimea switched its phone codes to the Russian number system. In July 2015, Russian Prime Minister, Dmitry Medvedev, declared that Crimea had been fully integrated into Russia. On 18 September 2016, the whole of Crimea participated in the Russian legislative election. In 2021, Ukraine launched the Crimea Platform a diplomatic initiative aimed at protecting the rights of Crimean inhabitants and ultimately reversing the illegal annexation of Crimea.